What's up, everybody? This is uh, Smoke563 here. And holy frame drop. So, I'm playing uh, Scrap Mechanic, and I came up with a design for a monster truck. And this game does not like recording software at all. Um, but that being said, this is what I've come up with so far. Now, I don't have an engine or anything else. I actually had planned on recording the entire build, but my recording software failed to record the video. All I ended up with was audio. So I went ahead and finished the basic part of this off camera and yeah we're gonna add an engine and spruce it all up and make it look nice so as you can see I made the wheels out of wood blocks and the uh, barrier blocks and I've got a bearing right there that's gonna allow turning now I'm gonna put I've got a bearing on each wheel and I'm gonna do them on opposite sides so it has a really nice tight turning radius and yeah um, eventually when we're done we're gonna jump it because I mean what's a monster truck without you know jumping it you know and uh, yeah so let's uh, let's get down to it um, what I basically need to do is just connect everything up and give it a test run and then maybe we'll do some sprucing up and uh, make it look like a monster truck and then we'll uh, we'll ramp it and uh, as I'll show you what I did off camera as well over here on the other side of the ramp and I'm sorry for the uh, the frame rate guys this this game is super early access and once you build a whole bunch of different stuff in a world, it's just the frames seem to drop right out from underneath you. But I know I'm not the only YouTuber that has experienced that. I'm not the only, you know, person playing this that has experienced it. So I know it's not just me. So it is what it is. It's still playable. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. This is uh, my first video on my channel. And I figured it would be just a simple, easy little video to get out first. I'll probably do some more scrap mechanic on here as well. I mean, it's a fun little game to play. Um, I, I like survival games for the most part. So I'm, I'm waiting for the survival aspect to kick in on this. And, oh, I can't wait for the optimization. But, uh, you know, it's fun to play around with in the creative mode and, until then. And, uh... You can look forward to some other survival type games on this channel as well. Uh, you know, I'll probably do some Rust. Um, I have a, a really nice Rust server that I play on. And I'm going to talk to the server host and see, you know, if he minds if I record on here and, and put this out there on YouTube. And, you know, I also got to talk to some of the guys that I play on that server with, you know, just to make sure who wants to be recorded and doesn't mind being in there and who I'm going to have to kind of mute out of the recordings and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, welcome to the channel and uh, I hope you enjoy. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. Oh, these frames suck. And I need... I'm going to go with a gas engine on this. I have played this game quite a bit, um, you know, just messing around with it before I started deciding I was going to, you know, make a YouTube channel and start recording my gameplay. So, um, I have played, I've put, you know, probably a good, you know, 15, 20 hours into this game just messing around with stuff. Um, I haven't played around with any of the new stuff since the latest patch. Like, there's a horn now, and um, they did some some bug fixes and stuff like that, so... We'll see how it all turns out. So I needed the engine. I got the engine. I got my connection tool out. All right, that's all I need for right now. Let's get the engine plopped in there. Like so. Can I turn it? I'll get this thing centered as possible. There we go. That'll work. All right, let's grab the connection tool. Now we're going to connect this to 
Get over there. Over there. And we want that spinning the other way. And then there. That's right. That one. That's right. That one. That's wrong. There we go. And then, most importantly, let me connect that to the driver's seat. So we'll go ahead and kick this on because I always forget to do this. And then I jump in. I'm like, why aren't I going anywhere? All right. Uh, that ought to be good. If not, we can adjust it later. Um, and then steering. We need to connect the driver's seat to each one of my steerings. I know I'll probably have to jump out and readjust this, but that's what testing's all about. So let's go ahead and put this over here. Now I do I did make this thing in another one of my creative worlds. I was running into the same lag issues, so I think it's just this design. I, I don't know what it is. The game doesn't like it, but uh, it was a, one of the regular worlds, not like this flat world, and it was really really good for an all-terrain vehicle like I was going over rocks and all sorts of stuff and that's what all those different um, suspension components are for I, I put one on the side and and then uh, one on the wheels as well and it, it really helps you know keep the uh, the center of the vehicle balanced um, and I'll show you that in a, in a little bit I'll probably cut over to that world now you know it's same problem the frames drop and everything but um, I'll, I'll give you a test run of that before we end this video today. So we got those going that way. Those going the same direction. They are. No, let's let's rotate these. So I have a funny feeling that those are going to be. That seems about right. Okay, so we got all that up and running. All right, let's get this thing off the lift and take it for a quick spin. And then we'll, uh, sorry about that. That was my phone. My phone. All right, let's take that thing off the lift. And hop in. Zoom out a little bit. Wow. I think it takes a minute to get going, doesn't it? Let's adjust that. Uh, let's adjust this. Let's crank this up another notch. I don't want to put too much on it because then you'll get too much torque and the whole thing will just want to flip over. I don't know if any of you people out there watching have ever ridden a four-wheeler, but it, it'd be like, you know, accidentally popping it into a higher gear and, or, or downshifting at the wrong time and cranking on it. You know, I've done that before and ended up uh, flipping the whole thing over backwards on myself. Not a fun time. Yeah, see? Well, I turn in opposite directions and you get a nice turning radius. And it doesn't flip. Now, the middle of this thing kind of bobbles around quite a bit, but so there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 getting too much power. We can fix that, though, by adding some weight. All right, seems to be working. Let's turn her around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, don't flip. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now... Let's see what we can do about adding some weight to this thing, because we want to weigh it down a little bit. Keep that front end down, especially. Add a little bit of weight to the front end and keep it down. Not too much, though, or else it'll flip over the other way. And we're going backwards. So, let's drop that thing on the lift. Sink it down. Hop up here. And... I'm going to grab some weight.
Let's grab this. That's a heavy weight. I just caught a bunch of air there. Q, Q. Come on. Come. Why do you do this to me? There we go. Alright, so that's not going to be even. Uh, uh, is that even? Yep, that's even. Looks kind of stupid, but let's see how that works. Let's bring this thing up off the lift. Now you can, you know, doctor this up to make it look like a truck if you want. Or I, I am forewarning you, the more stuff you add on to it, the more it uh, lags on you. The more, you know, the game has trouble. Especially when you start adding, like, a lot of the uh, more... How do you, what do you call them? The, these things, the... You know, the things that are pretty much there just for looks, you know. And uh, the more you add into the, those things onto, onto anything that's moving, it seems it just it lags out hardcore. But yeah, let's see. Uh, this doesn't seem to be lifting up in the front as much. Let's try going backwards. See if it does the same thing in the back, because I might have to duplicate those those uh, grill pieces in the back. Yeah, see, the back end stuff to come up off the ground now. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. We can fix that. This game is very much about balance. So if you don't have things balanced out, it's going to give you issues. Uh, that looks about right. And that looks about right. Let's see, hopefully that will keep me nice and balanced and all four wheels on the ground and don't get stuck in a wheel come on walk around oh the lag so yeah as you can see I just did it all out of wood um, the base of the actual you know where the seat sits the the actual truck itself is just um, 16 by I believe that's four I believe to the four or six I'm not sure out of the yeah let me grab yeah it's four so yeah um, 16 by four and then you can see everything I did with the with the suspension. Um, and then you saw where the bearings were, so you pretty much know how this thing works. You can build one yourself, change the design a little bit. This seems to work, and like I said, in, in a regular world, it it's, works pretty well as an all-terrain vehicle. So we've got ourselves a scrap mechanic monster truck trying to line this up, but I might have to put it up on the lift to line it up properly. Right. Now we're going to ramp it. We're going to ramp it. Let's keep this thing on that ramp. Yeehaw! Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, I think I can. Oh, yeah. Right over the cars. That's what I'm talking about. That was like a real monster truck rally right there. I mean, of course, there'd be more, a lot more cars, but I didn't want to take the time to build like 20 cars in a row just to jump a, you know, thing, a, a monster truck over it, so... 
But yeah, so there's the monster truck. You know, you know, you can uh, pretty it up or doll it up and design it however you want. I'm not gonna take the time to to dress it up to look like a truck, just because I'm already losing frames as it is. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here. I'm gonna swap over to my other world, and I'll show you the original design I had for this thing and how it works over the terrain and um, forewarning you that the, the the frames are going to be crap again. But, you know, is what it is. Okay, everybody. I'm back. And... Apparently that other world is completely broken. Because every time I try to load it, it crashes. So... You're not going to be able to see this thing run on the full terrain unless I create a new world and rebuild the whole thing which would be really frustrating because I've already built it twice so we're just gonna have to live with this one for today so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and we're just gonna drive this thing around so anyway I hope you liked today's video I hope you like the, uh, the monster truck and, you know, I'll, you know, those of you that watch this uh, want to build something like this or similar, or, you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. I, I like Scrap Mechanic, and uh, I'll probably do a few more builds on this thing in, in, in the future on this channel. I'm not going to do, like, a whole series on it, because a lot of people are already doing Scrap Mechanic videos and have pretty much built everything that there is to build. I hadn't seen any monster trucks, not saying somebody already had built, built one, but I hadn't seen one. So, I figured I'd do a monster truck build. Um, you know, if I get an idea or uh, something, and I, I think it's pretty cool, I'll share it with you guys. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to, you know, some more games coming out for this channel. I'm going uh, to go ahead and play some, like I said, Rust, maybe some Ark Survival Evolved. Um... You know, maybe we'll do some Don't Starve. You know, I like survival type games and early access games. So, you know, you can look forward to a lot of that type of content coming out on this channel. And um, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because uh, there will be a lot more content coming. So, uh, yeah. Later. Later.